for sale. A gila gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him? Take him home and try him. Gorilla for sale. Come to one, a little gorilla you can call your own. A gorilla who'll be with you when you're all alone. Gorilla, a gila gorilla for sale. Take our advice at any price. A gorilla like Magilla is mighty nice. Gorilla, Magilla, gorilla for sale. We've got a gorilla for sale. Magilla gorilla for sale. Won't you buy it? Take him home and try it. Gorilla for sale. See in the window, Magilla gorilla, full of charm and appeal. Handsome, elegant, intelligent, sweet. I'm really ideal. Don't you want a little gorilla you can call your own? Gorilla will be with you when you're all alone. Gorilla, Magilla, Gorilla for sale. Take our advice at any price. A gorilla like Magilla is mighty nice. Gorilla, Magilla, Gorilla for sale. Hi there, gorilla lovers. This is Magilla Gorilla, together with my TV buddy, Sheriff Ricochet Rabbit, and his deputy, Droopalong Coyote. Also, those feudin' hillbillies, Punkin' Puss and Mushmouse. All stars of screen, television, and pet shop windows. <laughs> you know, living in Mr. Peebles' pet shop window is like living in a goldfish bowl. If I get any bigger, I'm gonna have to move into the Hollywood Bowl. But I don't mind being big. Actually, I'm just a big bundle of friendliness. Now, Mr. Peebles is very friendly, too, but he insists I go on a diet. He says I should eat nothing but carrots. They're not fattening, and he says they're good for my eyes. He must be right, because I never saw a rabbit wearing glasses. He even tried sending me to school, but I flunked out because I couldn't spell banana. B-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A. I can spell it all right, but I don't know when to stop. Well, look here who's coming. It's the rootin'est, tootin'est, fastest, fightin'est lawman in all the West. Sheriff Ping, 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 Ricochet Rabbit. From Dooley's Mill, where gold is pan, from Pinto Peak to the Rio Grande, a lawman is coming to rule the land. Ping, 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 Ricochet Splat. I am fast, I am strong, I am tough but fair When the going is rough is when I'll be there And the whole shooting match will be saved by a hair Bing, 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 ricochet splat When the bad guys run, I will know Which way they go no matter where they went For it's always been my habit to be quick as a rabbit And a straight shooter though my barrel was bent Way out west when the nights are long And the pumas are fuming Folks will sing this song About the cactus that is cackling And the yuccas that are yakking Bing, bing, bing Ricochet splat, bing, 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 ricochet splat. And here's Ricochet Rabbit's faithful deputy, the slowest gun in the West, Droopalong Coyote. Well, Deputy Droopalong, how's the slowest draw in the West? Fine, Mr. Ricochet. I've been practicing my drawing all week long. Good. Getting any better? Yes, sir, but my pencil keeps breaking. Not that. What about your gun? Oh, I haven't learned to draw a picture of a gun yet. No, no. I mean, how do you shoot your gun? Like lightning. You mean fast? No, never strikes twice in the same place. Never mind. Droop along, did you watch to see when the coffee boiled over? Yes, sir. Was about 10.30. Well, pour me a cup, will you? Without cream? Sorry, Mr. Ricochet. We're all out of cream. You'll have to take it without milk. Just pour it, will you? 
Yuck! This coffee tastes like mud. Well, it should. It was ground this morning. <laughs> Mr. Ricochet, that was just a touch of Western humor. Any more of that humor, and I'm heading east. You better stick to being a deputy instead of thinking up jokes. I guess you're right, Mr. Ricochet. People think the West was won by who was the fastest gun. But in my book, the real hero was famous just for being slow. Droop along, droop along, droopy. The West was won by the slowest gun. Folks out West still have to laugh about when Droopy roped a calf, for the knot was set to pull, the calf had growed into a bull. Droop along, droop along, Droopy, the West was won by the slowest gun. I asked Droopy what he'd do, if his horse would lose a shoe, Droopy thought a long, long time, then grinned and said, I'd give him mine. Droop along, droop along, Droopy, the West was won by the slowest gun. One day Droopy shot his gun at a bandit on a run. The bullet rolled out so darn slow, it landed right on Droopy's toe. Droop along, droop along, Droopy. The West was won by the slowest gun. The West was won by the slowest gun. Say, Droop Along, I just noticed you look kind of shot up. What happened? Well, I saw the livery stable going up in smoke this morning, so I rushed over to the town meeting hall, stuck my head in the window, hollered fire, and everybody did fire right at me. Why didn't you duck? I did, but so did the bullets. Oh, my aches and pains. Well, you better put some liniment on. Oh, I can't. Liniment makes me smart. Maybe you should rub some on your head. Sometimes I don't think you have enough sense to come in out of the rain. Well, I don't know. It's been so long since we had any rain. Even the fish are walking. Oh, I forgot. Here's a telegram for you. Who's it from? Western Union. I mean, who sent it? It's from that tenderfoot fellow with a wooden leg named Smith. Yeah? What's the name of his other leg? Well, I just don't recall myself, but uh, say, isn't it about time you started to ricochet into the sunset? You're right, Droop Along. You're a faithful deputy, or my name isn't Sheriff. Bing, 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 ricochet rabbit. <laughs> Reckon Mr. Ricochet ran into the sunset a bit too hard that time. So long, Mr. McGilla. So long, Ricochet and Droop Along. <laughs> Come on out, Mush Mouse. It's feuding time. Come in, Pumpkin Puss. Howdy there, McGilla. Hiya, McGilla. Well, if it isn't them feuding hillbilly dillies, Pumpkin Puss and Mush Mouse. Tell us about it, Mush Mouse. That Muffy in along Singing that hillbilly song Strums his guitar all day long Well, hush my mouth, it's me, Mushmouth Who's that spunky little guy Who likes chitlins and possum pie Side meat, titties, and good fish fry Well, hush my mouth, it's me, Mushmouth I'm not much for feuding Never, never start a fight but if you get my dinder up, look out, I am dynamite. Who goes swimming in a crowded hole? Who catches catfish without no pole? Who's got a heart as pure as gold? Well, hush my mouth, it's me, Mushmouth. Funky little mouth called Mushmouth. 
What's the matter, Mush Mouse? Where you ailing? Ailing? You are one mistaken cat. I'm not ailing. And those noises you were making, I was sure you was hurting somewhere. Noises? That was singing. Good thing you told me. I was about to blast you with this here gun to put you out of your misery. <laughs> there you go again, Pumpkin Puss, being mean and sassy and obnoxious and uncouth. I is not uncouth. I is as couth as anybody in these your hills. Now you're talking like a cat that hasn't got enough brains to know how to spell his own name. I can so. H-E-Y-Y-O-U. That spells hey you. That's what everybody calls me. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. When they was pacing out brains, you thought they said trains and you plum missed it. <laughs> Well, then, if you're so smart, maybe you can tell me why does an ostrich have such a long neck? Because his head's so far from his body. Anybody knows that. My, but you are a stupid cat. I'm not stupid. I've been talking since I was six months old. Then you better hash up, because your mouth must be very, very tired. At least I aims to sing the truth about myself. Way up yonder in the hillbilly hills, there ain't no money, but there ain't no bills. There's a mutant cat by a catnip still named Pumpkin Puss. In the corn country, far away, where the porcupines and possum play, the cat that likes to feud all day is Pumpkin Puss. He don't care who loses, he don't care who wins. But when the feud is over, he starts right in again. He shoots a spell and he rests a bit. But I'll admit from where I sit, I've never seen a soul get hit by it. Pumpkin Puss. Hey, that's me, Pumpkin Puss. And you criticized my singing? You're not exactly a nightingale yourself, you know. I'll have you know I can sing a note so high that if you ain't at least eight feet tall, you won't even hear it. Often wondered what advantage there was in being short. Now I know. Why us pumpkin pussies don't take that kind of talk off nobody, especially no good mush mouth. Well, listen to who's talking. The worst shot in these yaya hills. Oh, yaya? How's that for shooting? <laughs> Down, Pumpkin Puss, I was only joshing. Oh!